can see what everyone's saying. Um, I'm just also prepping the buttercream. So just wait for it to load. Right, so bear with. So we've got two cakes um, to decorate this evening. Oh, I can't get that out of there. Um, so we've got one four inch and one six inch. I'm assisting my sister with a wedding tomorrow. Um, for those of you that don't know, she's a wedding makeup artist um, and like hair stylist. So um, I'm gonna be assisting. So I'll be doing hair tomorrow, which is why I've got to do both of these cakes tonight because um, I will be out for the whole morning. So we've got to do both cakes this evening. It's currently 8.50. I'm hoping that I can get them both done in like two hours, but that might be really optimistic. Um, all of the decorations are pretty much already made. Um, the only thing that I have to make is chocolate covered strawberries, but um, everything else is just chocolate. So it's not like I've got to make crazy amounts of things. Um, this ice is gonna get all over me. So, where are my gloves? <clears throat> Hi Ava, so hello to everyone that is just joining. Let me just plug my phone in. Um, yeah, we're gonna start with the um, six inch cake and we're gonna be flitting between the two throughout. Um, the six inch cake is one of those smudge cakes so it's got a black base and then it's got gray and white smudges. So that's why I'm gonna do it first because the black layer needs to set before I do the gray and white smudges. So what I'm thinking is shove that in the fridge once the black's done and then I will start on the gold drip cake um, because it's literally just gold buttercream, gold drip or like it's more of a creamy gold. Um, but yeah, so I thought I can do that afterwards because I can do all the decoration and like not be interrupted for it whilst the black one is setting in the fridge. Um, the colours that I use for the black and it actually developed really well um, I used Colour Splash and um, Pro Gel, the black, um, and then the black Colour Splash as well. Usually it doesn't develop this well, but um, what I did is I used a new technique because I saw that adding um, hot water helps it develop. So this is the colour that we've got, so as you can see, it's nice and black. Um, so I did... Colour Splash and Pro Gel, um, just kind of until I got the colour that I wanted um, and it was like a dark, dark grey. So then what I did was shoved it in the fridge for a little while because then it would be cold and then it means that when you put the hot water in it, it's going to be really hot because you're putting it into something cold rather than something that's warm. Um, so yeah, I did that and then I added some hot water and it just started to develop and then I've left it for about... 20 minutes or so to develop and then it's developed to that color um what piping bags do you use so i usually use disposable ones they're off of amazon and they're blue they're like industrial ones um i've run out and i haven't ordered any yet so we're using a reusable one i i know people want me to use reusable ones i always get told in the lives how many um like plastic piping bags i use but the reusable ones are so difficult to clean it's very time consuming because I'm going to have to clean this now after I've used it because I have none left. Um, and it's just a pain, basically. Um, I find that when I wash them, they just don't clean fully. So I have to wash them like two or three times because they have like that buttery oil where your buttercream was obviously in them. And then it leaves that like residue of like oiliness. So I find they just don't clean very well. Um... So, uh, have you ordered the new Finch Bakery recipe book? I haven't yet. Um, I think I want to see what the reviews are like. Yeah, obviously it's going to be amazing because it's Finch Bakery. Um, but I mean, I don't really have that much time for like baking for fun. So I don't want to um, get it as of yet because I won't actually be able to try anything in it because I'm just too busy. Um, but yeah, I want to see what the reviews are like and maybe like see some of the recipes that are in there. Um, so that I know what I'm getting because I'm really particular because obviously a recipe book if you only use like half of it then you've got a whole book to only use a few things like I've got a couple where I only use like one or two recipes out of the whole book and it just seems like a waste to have the whole book um did you start off with chocolate for the black 
No, I didn't. This is salted caramel. So it's a white icing, like a normal coloured icing, and then it's salted caramel flavouring, so it doesn't change the colour at all. And then I added black Pro Gel and black um, Colour Splash, shoved it in the fridge for half an hour, took it out, added some boiling water to it, roughly about a tablespoon, and then mixed it up and it developed. Right, I'm gonna get the six inch out the fridge. So this is the six inch. I wanna quickly show you the four inch because it's so satisfying how straight and tall it is. And this is why I go on and on about fridge time because I put it in the fridge when I did the in-between layers of buttercream. And then when I did the outside coat, I had obviously taken it out. It had already been in there like half an hour with just the in-between layers. Then I did the crumb coat on the outside and it's so straight and I love it. So I'm gonna show you. Look how giant he is. Like, I love it. And this is double chocolate, so that's why it's got a lighter um, chocolate, because it's got milk chocolate and white chocolate mixed together on the outside, and then it's got alternating layers. So one's white chocolate, one's milk chocolate, etc. Um, but yeah, look how straight he is. Perfect, like, love it. Um, hi, Virel. Um, I agree, even though it's not the best for the environment, but it makes the whole baking process much easier. See, I thought that too. However, if you haven't watched Sea Spiracy, then um, I would watch it because I always say this to people, but plastic like piping bags and anything like that, it is honestly the least of our worries. Um, things like fishing nets, um, fishing is like, I think what makes up, I think it's 60% of ocean waste. And I don't eat meat, I don't eat fish, none of that. So I kind of like pride myself in that I'm probably using less plastic than most people. Um, but yeah, so I think definitely watch Sea Spiracy because um, what they call small plastic, like plastic straws, stuff like that, they say is like a 0.1% of the plastic in the ocean. So that's why I still use the piping bags because I feel like I'm not doing that much bad. Um, I'm going to put this back in and I'll be back. So, hi Amy, sorry if this is a personal business question, but do you get your moulds from suppliers in Europe or the UK? Um, I get them from Europe. Um, and obviously the way it works is they take a lot longer for them to arrive, so like two months mainly. Um, whereas obviously by people ordering them through me, you're getting them within two days. So that's the luxury and that's basically what you're paying for is that you're not paying extra tax to the um, supplier because they will charge you more tax because they're a supplier. They don't expect people to buy them um, for themselves. Like it's a website where you obviously sell it on. Um, so yeah, they charge you like extra tax, extra fees, all of that. So um, yeah, that's why I do it that way. Um, right, I'm gonna pan you down just so that you can, I'm really red, I don't know why. Um, right, so here we are. Right, so we're gonna do the black layer. Um, I'm sorry if it looks a little bit blurry on mine, but I think that's because I've got it on um, 480p. But I'm hoping that it's better quality for you guys um, because it might be my internet. I'm not quite sure. Um, this piping bag, I filled it up way too high. Um, right. This piping bag is so full, I can't hold it with one hand. There we go, I think we've used a bit more now. I will answer questions when I'm scraping this in a minute.
So we've almost used what's in the piping bag. I've got some left in the bowl, luckily. Because I'm using a reusable one as well, I can't cut the nozzle size to be what I want it to be, which is again a problem with using reusable um, because when I'm doing the outside coat on a cake, I want it to be a fairly small hole so that I can um, guide it a bit more. But because it's for a big nozzle, it's got a massive hole cut out of it. So it's not great. Um, I'm definitely going to be ordering some on Amazon this evening. So I'm gonna take the remaining from here. On quite a, a big layer. It always looks so messy at this stage. I just love the before and after when you start scraping it. Right, so um, Antonia, how big a batch of buttercream do you do for six inch? I keep under making it. By the time I crumb coat, it's all gone. So for a four inch, I use one block of butter. This is a 250 gram, and then you match whatever ratio you're doing. So that is um, usually around 400 for me of icing sugar. So yeah, 250, so that's one block for four inch. Then I do two blocks for six inch. Um, I also do two blocks for eight inch, but I just do a slightly thinner layer because I usually end up with a little bit left over from the six inch anyway, but it's just, easier than doing like half a block um so yeah two blocks and that's just for the crumb coat and the inside and then i do another two blocks for the outside so i've done two blocks for all of these colors for this one um and then again for the four inch i only use one block for the outside so um it's blurry for me. Yeah, I think it's, um, if you change the quality um, on your on your video, um, I've got mine on 720 and it's better. Um, thank you, VRL, for the five pounds. I really appreciate it. Um, what brand of cake tins do you use? So I started off by buying PME. However, it's not essential. I wouldn't buy anything other than PME lookalikes. Um, so what I do is I go into Amazon and I type in PME tins. And when you do that on Amazon, it's highly likely that it'll come up with unbranded PME tins. Um, so what I do is just pick the one I want and buy it. And they work exactly the same as PME. Um, but like I say, they're just look alike. So it means that the material that they're using is the same. Um, like it's the same type of metal that they use. Um, you know, like the really white silver. Um, they're typically the best tins I find. The dark silver, because it's a different type of metal, um, it just doesn't work as well. Um, and they're usually not as thick, the dark tins, whereas the PME ones are nice and thick. Um, but yeah, so let me just... Here's an example. Here is one of the dark ones, and as you can see, it's very thin, whereas my PME ones are a lot nicer. They are dirty, so they're not going to be clean, but. They're dirty because I need to wash them up, but as you can see, the PME is the white silver. Um, the Big ones here are PME, but these aren't PME. These are just PME lookalikes and they work exactly the same. Um, but yeah, you just go on Amazon and pick whatever is cheapest. Um, instead of a shop, would you start off in a rented industrial unit? Um, more orders than people buying singular cupcakes. Um, yeah, I have considered an industrial unit so that I'm not at home, um, so I bake there. Um, but what I'm thinking is at the moment I don't want a shop anymore. Um, just because it restricts you, I would have to be there all the time. Like Obviously I have employees, but I'm the type of person where I'd feel the need to be there all the time. 
um, which is obviously going to be a problem because I can't be there all the time. Um, I'll have holiday, I'll have, you know, sick leave, all this stuff. So um, I don't want to feel obliged to be there. And also having the stock every day and like relying on um, relying on people coming in and buying it um, is very risky. Obviously, you'll have like regular customers, but I'm just worried that it wouldn't be um, as successful. So I would want to leave it until I'm more established before I decided to do that. Um, but I am thinking industrial unit and then... Um, baking from there and people can collect from there and I can do all the things I want from there but it won't be like a shop front um I think she uses a range of tins I recommend PME yeah I recommend PME as well um could you wipe your camera it's a bit blurry for some people maybe that's what it is I'm not sure where's my tea towel bear with I think it's the signal, if I'm completely honest, um, which is a real pain. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I think it is the signal, which I can't do much about. Hopefully, it gets better. Um, so, four blocks of butter and 800 icing sugar um not four blocks four blocks is one kg of butter so um one kg of butter will then be if double near enough um icing sugar so yeah if you do four blocks of butter then you need double the icing sugar um but yeah it is four blocks of butter for the whole thing um yeah, it gets better when you increase the quality of the video. Yeah, I think so. It gets a bit better when it's 720. Um, mm -mm. Depends what size of blocks of butter you are using. Exactly, yeah. So, um, obviously, if you're using larger blocks of butter, I get mine from supermarkets. But when I start getting them from Costco, I'm planning to get the big, like, 1kg blocks of butter. Because I am tired of using loads of little ones. Um... I'm trying to get 500 gram blocks, Tesco's sell them. I haven't seen them in my Tesco's. Um, I've only seen them in, I th where did I get them from? I think it was like Asda um, that I saw them in. Haven't seen them in there since, however. Right, so. So I'm just filling in any gaps. I'm very excited for this. It's my first cake with donuts on it. Um, they're not homemade. They are bought ones because she wanted um, Oreo donuts. And I could only find them in one shop. Um, they're really, like, they're out of stock everywhere. So I managed to find them and I got the last pack in Sainsbury's. Um, but I am very excited because donuts on a cake just look so cool. But... Um, up until this point, no one has asked for them, so, whereas she is the first person, so, very excited. I'm just filling in any gaps, but it is pretty, pretty smooth. Um, do you find it hard to decorate and talk? Um, I mean, most parts. Um, I mean, I lose my train of thought so easily, but um, most parts aren't that bad. It's the ones that need concentration. So like the drip and the scraping, um, because obviously if you lean your arm the wrong way, like your hand, um, then you can create indents in it. So you have to like concentrate, but... 
Um, apart from those two bits, I don't sort of mind the talking and decorating. Um, I also don't want, because the chat moves fast, if there's a lot of people talking, I try not to like miss questions. So I feel like I have to keep looking at the chat to make sure that I haven't missed anything. Ooh, looking so smooth. I love that. Has the quality got better? Because I want you to see how smooth this is. Do you think you would ever move away from cakes if a great business venture came up, e.g. desserts or cookie dough, etc.? Um, I mean, I love cakes over everything. Like, I mean, people always ask me if I would just do brownies, but I love the cakes. Um, so I would definitely, I think, always do them, even if I just did a limited amount. Um yeah i don't know it's hard to say it just depends and also like obviously if this new venture was um like better money then it's kind of whether i would enjoy it more because if i'd enjoy it more and it's more money then obviously i would choose that but if i'm not going to enjoy it then i wouldn't want to do it I'm not tooting my own horn, but that is perfect. I'm not even lying. So let's see if I can sort out the quality of this because I want you to see how smooth it is because it's perfect. Like I never say that, but it is perfect. I'm quite shocked. Um, it's because the buttercream was so nice and like it wasn't too stiff. So it just went on so nicely. Um, and we're doing a rough top, so I'm not smoothing the top. Um, right, let's see. Um, I can add a filter. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, no, show you how messy my kitchen is. Um, I do not think that I can make the quality any better, so... Um, I have just refreshed my um, 3G to see whether that makes a difference. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's worse. I need to wipe that with something that isn't my hand. Where is the camera? There we go. I've got a new phone and I don't even know where my camera is. Um, I know it's still blurry on here, but it looks better on my phone. So hopefully it gets better. Put that filter back on. Uh, it wasn't, it didn't have a filter. Um, I just refreshed. Oh, it looks like it's getting a bit better now. Because I'm watching it on my iPad and it looks a bit better on there. Um, so... I am going to go get my ring light so that because it's getting dark now um, and then I'm going to show you how smooth this is so
wire is tangled, bear with. <laughs> So, still not perfect, but we're going to move on. But let's just appreciate how smooth that is. Like, it's just perfect. Like, I just love it. It's just perfect. It's great. So, um, as you can see, the top is a rough edge, so it's not smooth because it's matching the photo um so we're going to shove this in the fridge and it's probably got to be in there for at least an hour um and then we'll do the smudges on the outside in the other colors so we're going to move on to the four inch cake now so um thank you oliver um i am glad that the quality is a bit better so let's put this in the fridge one it looks so much smaller but um it's just a four inch so i've got icing all over this all over where i need to put my hand um right now we are on to the four inch um for this one because i don't want to use a reusable piping bag i'm just going to put it all over using the spatula oh no i need to where's my rubbish bowl there we go This is how you know it's honestly the power of the scraper because look at this like it's all over the place but in a second it will be looking beautiful and because it's not too hot now because it's cooled down a bit um where i'm at um anyway like i'm near london um it means that i can have my buttercream back to being a little bit soft because that's the way i like it in between the layers i have it stiff but the outside coat I have soft because then it smooths a lot easier using the scraper. So it's just a lot easier to ice it. So I don't want to be able to see any of the undercoat. So we're going to try that. Oh God, I'm dropping the bowl. So where is my other scraper? Here we go. I have one piping bag left. Which side do I want to use? This one. So um is it good to put something in the microwave to defrost it quicker? I've never done it. Um and it also depends what it is. What are you thinking about? Is it icing? Is it cake? Um I would say if it's a cake, probably not. Um because obviously the things like eggs and stuff in it, it's not good to put those in the microwave. Um yeah, it really depends what it is that you're defrosting. A 
a donut with chocolate on top yeah i would probably say not to put it in there um i don't think it will defrost very well um i would say leave it in the fridge um or at room temperature one of the two quality has definitely got better that's good so if anyone's wondering i'm using a finch bakery scraper i use them for everything i ha i do have other scrapers or other brands but i do find that this one is the best um out of all of them so That is very close, but not quite. Did you take food economics for GCSE? What GCSEs did you take? Um, I took none that related to what I'm doing um, because I don't think they're terribly related anyway. Um, so I would say if you're thinking of starting a business, take ones that are more business based. Um, because that will help. Um, I took art, German, history, and law. Um, law is very helpful because then I know what, like, just in general, um, literally like any part of your life, I know what the laws are um, for various different things, which is helpful. Um, but yeah, um, none of them actually related to baking. And I'd never done much baking um, before I started my business anyway, so. I wasn't um, that much of an avid baker. Um, would you ever sell a combo of sweets and brownies? Um, the reason I don't do sweets is because it's something that I haven't made. Um, and that's why I don't currently do them. Um, I like to make all of my own things. So that's probably why I wouldn't do them. Um, just because... I would be buying them and then selling them on for more um so yeah and i'm not sure how much of a market there is for it um i know someone already locally that does it um so it's whether i would be um like more competition which would make it harder to sell and i like to do things which are higher profit so cakes are higher profit than like brownies, cupcakes, because it's a bigger item. So typically your profit is higher. So I prefer to do more of things that have a higher profit, like cakes, and then less of like brownies and things like that. Oh, there's a little bit that is, I'm too much of a perfectionist to do this. I need to decide which side is the front. I think you're going to be the front. So we are done with the outside coat. Now on to the 
top. I just need to smooth out the top. Um, I need a spatula. So. Oh, that's cool. I'm taking art food tech. I can't remember the rest, but we don't have law, sadly. Um, but what made you get into baking? Honestly, I saw people doing it in lockdown. Um, so that's why I... Um, sorry, I'm like... I've got a thousand things on my mind. Um, yeah, that's why... That's why I got into it. Um, so I saw loads of other people doing it. A lot of them don't actually do it anymore. Um, a lot of them started and then they went back to work. So that's good for me because then like ones in my area anyway. Um, so yeah, I saw lots of other people that were doing it. Um, but luckily mine kind of took off, which was good. Um, I think a lot of it was obviously YouTube and various other things that I do to promote it. Um, there's a huge market sweets have a profit of 30 to 70 percent um it's not that they aren't high profit but sometimes people don't want to pay because they know that they can get them cheaper so obviously i'm going to be buying them wholesale value um cheaper and then i'm going to be selling them for more like a pick and mix box stuff like that whereas some people are like well i could make my own pick and mix box whereas the thing that sells my brownies my cakes all of that is the fact that people can't bake it themselves whereas a lot of people, you know, the types of people that say like, oh, what, you charge £60 for a cake? And I'm like, yes. And they don't necessarily see the value. A lot of those people will similarly be like, well, why do you sell pick and mix boxes? I could make that myself. So it's easier to sell cakes, brownies and cupcakes because people can't make it themselves. That's sort of my reasoning behind it. Um, I might be able to sell sweets just as well, but it's just easier to sell, um, easier to sell things that are homemade um oh that's kind of no, 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 answered that one um but you maybe have missed out during lockdown uh what do you mean you maybe missed out during lockdown do you mean me or do you mean Haley? um how tall is that cake let's measure it um i do have a tape measure somewhere um i believe it's about eight inches Yeah, it's eight inches tall. Right, smooth top. The top is gonna to be covered in a drip, so it doesn't have to be perfect. really do with a cup of tea um right perfect so that is the front i need to mark that with a whiteboard pen wherever I put it, here we go. My pen isn't very good. Right, so whilst I make the drip, um, I'm going to put this in the fridge to firm up a little bit. Um, have you ever made an Oreo cake? I haven't. Um, I tried doing Oreo cupcakes once and I just didn't like them. So that's why I haven't yet done it as a flavour because I need to master the Oreos in the sponge um, and also the buttercream because the buttercream is obviously very bitty so it's harder to smooth. Thank you. 
so we've been on live half an hour and we've done the outside coats pretty much for both cakes which is good um i think i will be done in the two hour mark so that's very very good um because all we've got to do is the drip and then the smudges the black one literally it's just smudges on the outside so it's not like i've got to do a drip or any like major decorations um when i made an oreo cake i did find that the oreo did go a bit soggy yeah um i worry that the biscuits in it will go a bit soggy um how long do you think it takes you to make a cake including time in the fridge decorating and baking so baking takes half an hour um to do all the layers because i do them all at the same time um and whilst that's in the oven i then make the buttercream so that that's all ready for when it comes out i leave it to cool for half an hour to an hour um just because i don't like it when they're warm because it does melt your buttercream so i like it to be fully cooled so i give it plenty of time um i usually wrap it overnight so um last night i baked all the cakes and then i crumb coated and stacked them this morning so that they were wrapped in the fridge um so probably say half an hour to bake half an hour to cool but you can use that time for other things so i don't include it because i use it to wash up and like various other things or like decorate another cake so half an hour to bake i mean we've been on here 30 minutes and i've done both coats including like chatting and messing around so i would say 15 minutes to do the outside coat which is usually what i aim for then i say roughly 30 minutes to decorate that means like drip toppings all of that because that can be very faffy trying to make sure that it's all um like right um so that is an hour and 15 i would say two hours like all in everything done um but i charge for three hours um and i charge 10 pounds an hour um but if i get it done in two hours then it doesn't mean that i'm overcharging it means that i'm getting a better hourly rate um because i should be charging 15 pounds an hour based on my skill um but i just don't have the heart um i think for this cake for both of these cakes i think i charge 12 to 13 pounds an hour so i was more towards what i want um but yeah it just depends one if they have a budget because obviously trying to meet a budget um makes it a bit more difficult um so yeah it depends if i'm doing multiple at the same time then i usually charge a slightly less um hourly rate because i'm going to be doing multiple um have you ever made gluten-free cakes if so how do they turn out um i love gluten-free cakes i've never had any issues um so yeah they were fine i've done chocolate vanilla um and i think that's it um i haven't done any other flavors just because i don't typically offer them because they are like for me because i don't specialize in it it is a little bit of a pain so i don't like to do a thousand flavors like i do of all my others i think i've got like 15 cake flavors for my normal um like standard style cakes but my vegan and gluten-free they've only got like two to four flavors just because it makes it a lot more complicated um what gcse's do you recommend for someone who wants to own a cakery i would say um thing is there's certain things which aren't necessarily relevant but they give you very good skills so like i did history and law and a lot of that is very long essay writing which kind of disciplines you to be able to articulate um and like speak well and write things well so like when you're writing up various bits of information it you're going to be a lot better at it because you've done more like i think they call it like long hand writing where it's a lot of words um like long essays so i think stuff like that is very good um and it's just informative i liked the ones that i did not because they were necessarily relevant but they were just very informative things art was very creative that's why i liked it um and then german i used to go to germany when i was a kid i used to go to europe a lot so i loved learning german um we also got to go on quite a few school trips so that's a bonus i would definitely say a language is a good one if you're good at languages you don't even have to be that great um i'm not that great at remembering like, i can't even remember anything relevant from my german stuff um but 
it was just one it's good for memory testing um learning something new and you get to go on school trips so it's it's good um but i would say i would say something educational and when i say education i mean like law history geography those kind of ones because they are more educational whereas if you're i mean educational in terms of like historical information um which you can use in later life and it's it's quite a good skill i think to be able to do that to like know a lot about the world um so like i did history so i know all about the world wars and hitler and all of that so i feel like i'm quite educated on that kind of thing then i'd say one creative just because it keeps you sane um like if i'm being completely honest so art food tech dt any of those because like i say they keep you sane um it's just something that's fun and like it's doing because i'm not very good at concentrating i like to do things so doing that it's more practical that's why i love this so much and that's why i like the cakes because it's very creative it's more like doing um and then if i could go back i would potentially do something um like psychology because i love that kind of thing and again it's something that you can use later in life um it doesn't even have to be that you're going to use it for a job but just like like especially at the moment like mental health is such a like prominent thing so i think things like psychology it's really good to learn about it because then when you're older you'll know what goes through people's heads why they have certain emotions why they do certain things um and like various conditions that people can have which aren't necessarily able to be seen so there's so many factors into what you choose for your GCSEs. That's why it's so hard to choose. I don't want to tell you exact ones to go for because obviously if you go for them and you don't like them, then obviously that's my fault. Um, but yeah, I think pick categories. One that's creative, one that's informative, like history, geography, that kind of thing. Um, one that's fun. And then maybe one that you can use later on, like business, um, economics. I would love to do economics, but they didn't do it when um, at my school, but they did it at other ones because economics is more um, money driven. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can really say on that. But I I loved my GCSEs, so um, I have fond memories. Um, I started out earlier this year specialising in gluten free, your channel has been a huge help, so thank you so much, I love decorating along with you, it keeps me going and I feel like I have a friend, oh that's so sweet, um, I, props to you for doing gluten free only because I get stressed whenever I do um, either gluten free, not vegan, vegan I find really easy um, because I've done a lot of them, but gluten free and egg free, because egg, egg free and nut free, sorry, um, because if it's not a standard vegan recipe, if I have to amend a vegan recipe, then that starts getting difficult. Um, whereas all my vegan recipes are like, I know how to do them and that's it. Whereas when I um, actually have to change things and think about it a bit more then it gets difficult um i peep the nails i love them oh thank you yeah i actually have a little story about this um it's in one of my videos um i think i can't remember what it was i've got a video it's either i did a day off vlog um and then I did another vlog, I think, which the nails are in, where I vented about it. So basically, she did my nail art on them. And it was meant to be hearts. As you can see, it's not hearts, it's dots. Um, and she did the nail art, and it was hearts. And I hate saying anything bad about people's work, because obviously she's put her time into it. She had only done it for about 10 minutes, so I felt like I wasn't... She wasn't having to, like, restart a whole hour's worth of work. Um, but I'd obviously asked for hearts, and asked for four hearts... On each nail so it's pretty standard like i go to the nail salon like fairly regularly i haven't been in a while but i used to go fairly regularly so i know like what you need to say um so i asked for four hearts on each nail and she did about seven hearts some were upside down one was sideways she didn't use the right tool my sister does nails so i know what tools you're meant to use and i've had a similar design before um at a different salon and she just she used a paintbrush and they were like really square hearts they looked like something out of minecraft and i was like i'm really sorry but i cannot pay 30 to 40 pounds 
for something that I don't want. Um, something that doesn't match the photo at all, like you've done your own thing with it. And there was also a few polka dots on them and they weren't included at all. So um, yeah, it was just a completely different design. So I was like, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to get you to change it. And then even when she did the dots, she didn't do them in line. They're all random. As you can see, they're not polka dots, they're all random. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna leave. Um, and then I just went home and luckily I'm used to them now, but yeah. Um, I will not be going back to that salon. I went there because they had earlier time slots and I had cake collections, but I'm definitely just gonna wait next time and go to my usual place. Um, right, I love watching your videos, especially like watching you decorate cakes. Great job, thanks. Um, what was your previous job? I All of my jobs have been accounting. Um, I did, instead of staying on at sixth form, I did accounting um, and I did it as an apprenticeship. So they paid for it all, would definitely recommend um, as something to like fall back on. So I'm like fully accountancy qualified. Um, so I did my AAT, I was an apprentice. Then I went into, so you do like general accounting for a council. Then I went into treasury, which is like all the loans. So all the money that the council pays, like schools, um, road works, like when you have a road redone, like um, say they're retarmacking a road, that will be paid for by the council. So then I'll do all the loans and payments and all that kind of thing. Um, all the invoices, I'd pay people's pensions, that kind of thing. Um, and then I wanted something else and they wouldn't give me a sabbatical, which is where they give you paid or not even paid, um, they just hold your job for you. So I will say like, right, I'm going away for two months and they'll just hold my job and get a temp for those two months, but they refuse, so I quit. Um, and then I went traveling, I did Africa for three months, um, volunteering, and then I came back, did credit control, absolutely hated it. Um, we know that by now if we're regulars that um, I did not have a good experience in my most recent job. Um, and it was just quite a toxic environment um, of like workload and like making me feel like I wasn't doing enough. So I left that job and here we are. Um, that's part of the reason why I started this business because I was so desperate to get out of that job. But because it was COVID, I didn't want to have no money. So I decided to start a business instead. So yeah, that is my little sob story for you guys. Um, my family are mainly celiac, so gluten-free is second nature to me from a young age. I really struggle making non-gluten free these days. That's really interesting. That's really nice though that you can do that. Um, I have, a lot of the gluten free orders I have is from people that are fully aware that I bake other things. So um, they're fine with a little bit of gluten. Um, not that there should be any in there, um, but it's more that it's made in a kitchen. So although I can wipe the counters down as much as possible, I can't specifically say there is no gluten in it because obviously I do bake other things. Um, so, and they're all fine with that. Um, but I don't typically advertise it as gluten free because I obviously don't want people that are very severely like celiac or allergic who even like the slightest trace will then um, affect them. So that's why I'm not like exclusively and I don't really advertise it. I only do it for a couple of regulars. There's a couple of people who regularly come to me for gluten free, so I do it for them, but um, I don't typically do it for anyone else. But um, it's nice that you do because I know like when I was vegan, you just couldn't find anywhere that did like vegan stuff. It's moved on a bit now, like that was like two years ago, but um yeah it's definitely got a lot better um i'm an aspiring baker how long does it take you to stack crumb coat and smooth out a cake um i'd probably say maybe 15 minutes um and that's if it's a six inch upwards a four inch takes more towards half an hour because i have to put it in the fridge for 15 minutes just to firm it up a bit before I do the final coat um but yeah so yeah probably about 15 to 30 minutes not too long um yeah I've kind of got it down um I used to take a lot longer but now I don't um right I'm gonna melt the chocolate now that they've been in the fridge for 15 minutes 
uh thanks i'm definitely slower trust me you get quicker um it's taken me like i've been doing this a year and i used to take like an hour um maybe even more to smooth a cake um it used to take me so long um but yeah now super quick um i'm hoping to start selling my baked goods at market soon any advice um i'd recommend watching my market video that i did for the lifestyle show because i had a, i had a lot of tips in that um things that you need um but yeah i would just say be careful what market you do um i found things like the lifestyle show where you have to buy a ticket you get a lot more customers whereas markets um on the street like just standard like town markets i would say start small um don't bake too much because typically they can be quite quiet they can also be very busy so you just got to put feelers out and see whether that town is busy at markets or not because some towns aren't popular for markets and some towns are um whereas things like the lifestyle show because it is a show there's typically a lot more people they actually postponed that which i'm really upset about um they postponed it was meant to be on the 10th and the 11th of july and they've postponed it so um i will be doing it when they next wherever they move it to um i don't know when that is but um yeah i kept telling people that i was at it but yeah they've moved it Honestly, I started my business for my baby brother so he could feel included as he could never get a cake. He wanted his birthday um, due to his severe celiac. He's a little, he's my little inspiration. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, yeah, that's literally the nicest thing because like I say, like when you can't find a cake for you, it's quite, that's why I always do like allergen cakes and stuff. I don't advertise it, but if someone comes to me and says they love my cakes and then when I say are there any allergens they say oh there's a nut allergy as long as it's not severe severe um but typically I don't bake anything else on the same day anyway um but I've never had any issues with like nut free and stuff like that but I just feel bad because I'm like well I know no one else will do it because um I know a lot of the bakers around me are like strictly no allergies so that's why I always want to do it because I feel bad that they can't find anyone else and like I wouldn't want no one someone to have um miss out on a birthday cake so that's why I always do it um right I need to stop talking um I need to melt this trip because um otherwise we're gonna be here all night so where is my white chocolate I think I've left it over there so um it's a four inch so i'm probably going to use about 100 grams of um chocolate um so i'm gonna go and melt this i will be back um so yeah i'm just using chocolate chips because they're really easy to melt um rather than a bar but yeah i'll be back in a minute I just checked on the black cake and it's nice and firm so I think once I've done this drip I'm then going to get that out of the fridge and do the smudges because it's nice it's like firm enough that I can put smudges of buttercream on it and it won't like damage it um so need to choose what sprinkles I'm using it's all um pretty like free range so um I have a theme but one of them is a cake that I've made before it's like my cake that she sent me um so I'm just sort of doing the same again um but yeah it's kind of just golden cream basically and then the other one is black and grey so I'm gonna do black grey and white um 
Oh, and it's got a bit of gold on it, but I think I can add silver because it's got grey elements to it. Um, so I think I'm going to go for these. Right, we're going to go for those. Oh, and I've got these new ones which I can use. Um, they're little black pearls. I'll show you all of them out of the packet in a minute. Um, is that? That's gold, so I think we can go with that and that. Uh, da, 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 da. How do you get your buttercream black? Because mine always goes a sad grey colour. Um, so this is what I used. I mentioned it at the beginning, so sorry for anyone that heard it. Um, but it might have been before you came on. So I used these two. I used Pro Gel Black and Colour Splash Black. I used the same amount of each, honestly, just until it got to a dark grey. Then I shoved it in the fridge for half an hour. Then I took it out, mixed it very lightly because like it's the same when your buttercream's yellow you mix it to make it white so the more you mix it the lighter it's going to get so once it goes black you don't want to mix it a lot because obviously you're going to start making it lighter so i mix it very lightly then i put some hot water in it roughly a tablespoon um and then that helps develop the color mixed it all in and then left it for like 20 minutes um at room temperature and I can leave mine at room temperature because I don't put any milk in it. Um, if you put milk in it, then you need to refrigerate it. Um, so yeah, I left it out for 20 minutes and then it went really nice and dark. Um, I haven't used that combo before with the hot water. So I think that helped. Usually I use chocolate um, buttercream, but this was salted caramel. So it was a yellowy like colour. So I couldn't... Um, add any like cocoa to it because otherwise it will change the flavour um... so I'm just trying to decide on sprinkles I've got too many too many for one person more than I need. Right, back to the chocolate. need to bake six cupcakes tonight um and decorate them um but apart from that it's just two cakes so i think i can do that um around 11 ish um which should take me not too long um i might have to bake them in between i'm not quite sure i haven't decided yet um but yes i need to do those so i can't forget um hi from trinidad wow hello that, i think that's i don't know how what's the farthest place that people have watched me from i know i have um americans and australians follow me um but i think trinidad is definitely a new one so welcome Right, so I've got my white chocolate here and it's all melted. I'm just mixing it to make sure there's no lumps. So as you can see, 
it's nice and runny but we're going to add oil to it um and we're also going to add some coloring i need to add the teeny tiniest bit of this because um it needs to match the buttercream so i'm going to add the oil first and just so that you can see roughly how much i'm doing there we go it's roughly half a teaspoon um, but sometimes I add more. It just depends how runny it is. I think we're going to need a little bit more today. And you want to mix it quite vigorously because it will want to separate. But if you mix it quickly, then it tends to um, incorporate quite easily. And I'm just using vegetable oil um, because it's the only one that doesn't have a funny taste, uh, funny smell, sorry. Um, coconut oil and olive oil both smell different, so that's why I don't use them. So. I need the teeny tiniest bit of this. Right, let's try that. It's not as runny as I would like. We've gone blurry again. Um, I don't think you can use butter, no, um, because butter will separate, um, I think. It's a little bit thick. Need a bit more. Right, I need to colour match this to the cake, so I'm going to get the cake out. So I'm going to try this out and hopefully it drips the way that I want it to. Um, I'm going to try it on a glass, I think, first. So it's looking like it might be a little bit too thick, which is annoying. Um, I've been doing butter this whole time and it has been going weird. I didn't realise you could use oil. Yeah, oil is, is temperamental. Um, I find you use more oil with white chocolate than you do with any other um chocolate dark chocolate i don't use any oil and milk chocolate i use very little um but yeah white chocolate because you're coloring it typically um see it's dripping off the spoon well but i don't know if it's gonna drip well off of the cake so we're just gonna have to try it
So that is way too thick. Yeah. So we are going to have to redo that. That's the problem with white chocolate drips. Sometimes it works and sometimes it just decides it's not going to work, which is really annoying. Um, and today it's decided that. So. So I just scrape it off. It's really annoying because my cake was so smooth. Um, but yeah, that is just my luck. Um, right, we managed to fix it. So. Right, now I need to do that all over again. Yeah, I don't get why it does that sometimes. It's really annoying um, where sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. I think it's where, I think I added it too soon. I think the chocolate was um, too hot. I'm gonna try it in the microwave a little bit and just see whether it makes a difference. Okay, I shoved it in the microwave for literally 15 seconds and it's a lot runnier. So we're gonna try it again. And we're gonna try it in the same spot so that if anything goes wrong, it's at the back. Please run down the cake. I think my spoon is also too big. You're too big. Why aren't you working? Right, I'm going to put that back in the fridge for a second just because I have gone over that section, um, which I just took the drip off of. Right, although this drip does look very runny, it's not dripping down the cake. So, I think... I'm tempted to start over because I don't want to keep putting this on there because it clearly isn't working. So we're going to start that over. I'm going to melt some more chocolate and then I will be back. Um, I'm going to put this over here with my pile of washing up and I'm going to melt some more chocolate. I'm going to use a different brand because I sometimes find that that does make a difference. So I'm going to use the Tesco's cooking chocolate because I do find that this melts well and we're going to try that and just see how it goes. So I will be back.
So whilst I'm doing, whilst that's melting, I'm going to start smudging on the other cake. Um, so I'm just going to bring up the photo of my iPad so that I can have a little look. Um, so I've got two palette knives and I'm just going to apply smudges and then use a scraper to smudge them. Um, where are my scrapers? Right, so it's literally just smudges of um, grey and white. Right, so. So what you wanna do is make sure you scrape off the scraper because otherwise all the excess from here is just going to end up all around the cake and you end up with like really big smudges. So I'm just gonna pan you down slightly so you can see a bit better. So I'm going to add a little bit more grey in places. And then I'm going to layer a little bit of, I'm going to make this more white um, and then layer that on top. I'm adding the um, Wilton White White, the icing colouring. Um, I got it, I think on Amazon because it was back in stock, but I don't know if it's now out of stock again. But I got quite a few bottles of it so that I would have plenty.
Right, so it looks a little yellow there, but I think it's white enough. Yeah, so I'm just going to add little blotches of white now. And then just get your scraper again and just smooth out the smudges. And then I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of grey. knocking stuff over. Right, I am content with how that looks. I need to decide which bit is the front. Um, and then once I've decided what the front is, then I can clean up the board and start with the toppings. I think I'm going to go for this as the front. So I'm going to mark it. So where these black marks are is the front. So this is the front. I've got to add gold paint on it yet. Um, so what I'm going to do is put this into... Um, a piping bag and then it means that I can use it to pipe a few bits on the top for decoration to add the toppings on. I need to add the donuts on um, and a couple of Oreos. So we're going to put this back in the fridge to set but that is the front. So yeah it's all smudges. So in case anyone's wondering, this is the photo that I'm working from. I wanted it to be less blended. Um, she said like, like this, that she likes the smudges on it. So as you can see, we've got the gold on there, which I will be adding, but all of the smudges kind of blend, um, which I think is where they've done it too soon after they've done the black coat because it started to blend. And also the icing is very, um, like not smooth on the outside. 
um so yeah i've smoothed the black coat like perfectly and then i've added the layers on top because i think that that looks better um but yeah i did have a little bit of like creative freedom on it so i think it'll be fine um because yeah i think that that looks better and then we're going to add the gold leaf and a little bit of gold paint um so yeah i think i'm going to splatter the gold paint because i think that will look cool and then add the gold leaf on the sides so where is my gold leaf i've got some over there but i did have another packet I don't know where it is. So, I think we're going to have to use this one. It's a brand new packet, but um, I do have some somewhere. Um, doesn't look like I've got it here. I also need to make some balloons to go on it. Um, I've got a little balloon topper to match the photo so um i will need to add that on well this is fancy packaging interesting so there's the gold leaf in there um i don't think that needs very long in the fridge because um it's gold leaf mostly and then the paint will be splattered so we won't be actually like applying pressure to the cake um so i'm going to put some of this gray into a piping bag and then i can use that to decorate so my nozzles right I think for this one I'm going to use the last piping bag because I need a small nozzle so I lose nozzles on a daily basis. Um, bear with, guys. So, whilst they're in the fridge, we are just going to try and find this nozzle. Um, Right, so, found the nozzle, it was in my washing pile, so, oh, scissors, right, this is my last piping bag. Oh, 
right. So I'm going to put some of the grey in here. So, where is my lid? Right, I'm going to get the cake back out. Right, so because the chocolate's melted, we're going to do the drip first, and then once we've done the drip and got that sorted, done, dusted, so that I don't have to worry about it anymore, um, then we will do the decoration on the black cake. So, hopefully, this doesn't go thick. Um, it's because I wanted to add a bit of colouring to it, but... Um, I think that that might have been what sent it a little bit thick. See, it wasn't even that it seized, it didn't even go hard. It just wasn't dripping the way that I wanted it to. Like I want it to be nice and thin. Right, I'm gonna add a teeny bit of oil. And a teeny bit of colour, not very much at all, because I don't want it to thicken. I think I probably left it for too long, that's what I always do. I melt my chocolate and then I take too long to drip it, and by the time I drip it, it's already starting to like set. So we're going to get the four inch out. So, we're going to get dripping. That looks a lot better already. So, ah, uh, yes, that is so good. Right, we've sorted it. Yeah, I took too long last time to drip it because it's already looking way better. Oh, thank you so much to Chelsea Girl. That's really sweet, donating that much money. Um, thank you so much. You gifted me £10, thank you. Um, what does it say? Sorry, I'm like trying to concentrate at the same time as reading that. Um, Always look forward to your live streams on Friday. Keep up the good work, Amy. Thank you so much. That's really sweet. Right, this is going well. We love a good drip. Drips scare me, but they also are my favourite thing. Like, drip cakes are my favourite, but at the same time, the risk of a drip going wrong just scares me. But... 
they look so good so it's worth the stress Right, so we need to act quickly because um, this needs to have some sprinkles on it. So, Right, so that is the tiny sprinkles which you won't even be able to see, um, but now we're going on to the bigger sprinkles, if I can open the packet, that's the only thing about these nails. Right. Keep dropping this one. Right, okay. How do you get the edges of your icing so smooth? Do you mean the sides or the top? The sides, I just use a Finch Bakery scraper. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I make sure that the icing is nice and soft. Um, if it's too stiff and you have too many air bubbles, then it's just going to scrape along the cake and you're going to have loads of little dots. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing around the sides. Um, and then on the top, I just use a spatula to flatten it. Um, when did you get into baking? It looks amazing. Thank you. Um, I pretty much, I would say, got into baking last year when i started the business um i didn't really do too much before then um i did like the odd two layer cake whereas this is like six layers tall so um yeah i never did anything that was that adventurous in terms of like design um so all my like design skills i would say i've learned in the past year um um in terms of food hygiene is it okay to have acrylic nails i've never been told otherwise um so i think as long as you're washing your hands a lot then it should be fine um i always have to clean under my nails anyway just because i feel like you should so um i always like scrub my nails with one of those little nail brushes um just because I wouldn't want anything under there, even if I wasn't like a baker. So um, yeah, I think as long as you're washing your hands a lot, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't say your nails touch the cake. 
um like you probably can't see because um the angle isn't great but i use like the base of my finger to put on sprinkles just because sprinkles don't stick to gloves so it means if you've got gloves on the sprinkles are just going to fall straight off so yeah i've never been told that i'm not allowed them um but yeah it depends i think it's fine as long as your hygiene is very good like as long as you're washing your hands a lot um but yeah and like whenever i'm doing any like icing or anything i always use spatulas i don't ever use like my hands so um yeah i don't see why not so i think you could probably get your acrylic nails back because i love them love them i'm gonna get them a bit shorter um next time um what do you have to do to get your hygiene certificate um you just do the level two um online course that's it it's just a certificate that you can do online um it took me about three hours to do i you like study it and then you actually sit it um and yeah it took about three hours and then it was all done um certificate and everything um so yeah it didn't take very long at all right so that is done um i need to do the final coat on it but i'm going to start on the decorations on the other one so as you can see we've got sprinkles on top sprinkles on the drips so yeah that is how that looks Right, so we are going to go back to the black cake. Um, I will answer your question in one second. Chelsea girl, I'm just gonna move these bits onto another table so that I have a little bit more room. So we need, oh, I literally got out my gold leaf so I didn't even need to open the new pack. Right don't need you Right, so we're going to scrape the board because obviously we want it nice and clean. So I start off by just having the scraper like this and just scraping as much as I can get off um, without actually using anything else. So... Right, and then with the rest, I just get a tissue. So there's like little bits left on there. So I'm just going to get a tissue to do those.
I'm just trying to get as close to the cake as I can to get those last little bits. Right, so where's the front? Right, so, perfect. Um, you're really pretty, thank you. I mean, I don't look great at the moment, um, <laughs> but when I've got my makeup done, I definitely feel better. Um, I'm on the edge of leaving my job to start a baking business. Have you thought about mentoring people like me for a fee? I did think about this actually. It's definitely something that I have considered. Um, I just haven't got the time to currently sort it out. Um, but I definitely want to do like one-to-one -one sessions potentially. Um, and I am planning. I'm, I've got a bit of free time um, next week. So I'm hoping that I can do a bit of work on it. But I want to write a... Um, a cake guide that I can then sell, which will help you guys with like tips and tricks, all of that jazz. Um, so yeah, I just need to get on and do it, but it's just having the time to do it. So. Um, I'm gonna look at the photo on my phone. So, I really need to make this, I'm going to have to make this balloon topper because I don't know how much space it's going to take up. Um, so I'm going to have to do that because otherwise I'm not going to know how big it is. So, let's have a look. Hopefully it's not too complex. So difficult. Um, I need scissors. It should just open, but nope, nope. Right, scissors. There we go. Right, it does have instructions, which is always nice. I feel like this is going to be way harder than I expected. Right, so I don't have a balloon pump, so I'm, I think I'm gonna just have to blow them up myself. Um, so, what is your favorite thing to bake? I mean, I wouldn't say that I like particularly baking anything, um, like the actual baking process. I prefer decorating a lot more. Um, but if I had to just bake, I'd say brownies just because they're the easiest. Right. L this should be interesting. Let's have a go. Stretch it a little bit. Close that. This should be interesting. I can't, I can't do it. I'm terrible. That did nothing. Let's have another go. Right, I'm gonna have to look for a balloon pump because 
that's not doing anything. Right, so that has um, died of death. Um, I can't, I've tried blowing one up and I failed. So we're gonna come back to that because at the moment it's a little bit worrying that I can't do that. So we might have to do that when we get home tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna get back to the decorating part because I can do that. Whereas I can't blow up these balloons. So. Right, so I have two Oreo donuts here. And we are going to place them on the cake. So, there's gonna be one on the eye, so I'm thinking this is what they look like. Right, so we've got one there where do you sell cakes um i am based in buckinghamshire so just anyone that is willing to drive to buckinghamshire basically um i am um, I sell them mainly through Instagram um, and Facebook, pretty much. Some people come through my website, but mostly it's through Instagram. So... Okay, so we're going to do one placed 
and then I want that one to stand up on it. Actually, no, I don't like that. So I'm going to stick some of a few sprinkles So these black ones, I'm just kind of like dropping randomly on there, just because they blend with the cake colour anyway, so they're just kind of like added texture. And then, because I want to stick them on the side, take my glove off. on there so I think it looks better without them on the sides um, I might add and then we need to add the gold just remembered gosh lucky I remembered that um, gold leaf now I've got to make a topper for this um, and then I need to add the balloons once I figure out how to actually blow them up. this gold leaf on this cake. hate that if you touch gold leaf even the slightest bit um if you touch gold leaf the slightest bit then um it just sticks um i'm just like you i keep adding to the cake sometimes less is more well this is of, of i think for this obviously they've ordered a certain design so um i am matching what they go for um, if that makes sense. I can I can definitely like add a lot to a cake. I quite like 
the loaded look of a cake like when it's got a lot on it um but yeah the cake that they sent me had loads of gold leaf on it i'm not going to add as much as was in the photo because i think it's too much but um i do want to add just a little bit more floating gold leaf right I'm going to add a little bit to the top and then we are done apart from the um, the toppers That's what I was gonna, yeah. So I think that's finished. Um, I'm gonna put it back in the fridge um, because I'm pretty sure that's done. Um, but if I think of anything else that I need to add to it, then I can. But yeah. So yes, that is that one. Right, so I'm going to use the um, leftover drip to cover my strawberries because I don't want to waste anything. So we are going back to the other cake. I'm going to put these balloons aside because they are stressing me out. Um, they look so complicated. Why can't they just like arrive already done? That would be great. I thought it was going to look way easier than it was um right right so i need a mat amazing definitely going to order something for my mum's birthday in a few weeks ah cool um the only thing i would say is i am away from the 5th to the 9th of july so hopefully it's not any time in between then i'm going to weymouth for the week so only local but like or like only in england but um yeah i will still be unavailable so straws look lovely um because it's a small cake i'm going to choose a mixture between um small and large i'm just checking for any bruising um because strawberries bruise so easily um and obviously when they start to bruise i find that they um soften a lot quicker so I want the ones that look all perfect. 
and then the way that I wash them is I wipe them with um, damp kitchen towel, like I wet the kitchen towel. I saw this from another baker, um, just because strawberries retain water, and if you keep them on a cake and it's not necessarily in the fridge, then they can the water content from them can start to kind of like melt, um, so the water will start to come out of the strawberry. So if they're covered in chocolate and the water starts to come out, then you're gonna have melting wet chocolate, basically. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. So that's why I wipe them because you get the same effect. You can still um, clean them the same as you would just by washing them, but it's just um, easier to clean and means that they don't retain the water. So we need kitchen towel. If anyone has any questions, ask now because the decorating part of this next cake is probably the time where I can answer the most questions. And because it's getting late, I won't be staying on afterwards. I'm literally going to decorate this last cake and then I'm going to log off so that I can bake these cupcakes. Um, because I haven't got time today. Have you? I've been on here... I think I've been I've been on there two hours so far so um right so I'm literally just gonna dip the strawberries so let me just show you if I can can you see so I've got a mat which is just like a bendy mat which is easy to use and then I've got parchment so I'll dip them and then put them straight out on the parchment then they'll go in the fridge um don't want too much excess because what I do is I I pick them up from the parchment once they start to bleed um, because the chocolate will start to bleed like where it's coming off the strawberry so then I pick them up and just rearrange them so that they're not sat in loads of chocolate because then you'll get a little skirt where um, the chocolate's like melting off Right, last two. So, move them all so they haven't got little skirts. And then, 
So as you can see where I've moved them so that they don't have little skirts and then we're going to shove them in the fridge. Right, I just realised I need to lock my chickens up. So um, if you guys don't mind, if you want to stay to finish the last four inch cake, I will be back in five minutes. Um, but yeah, I just need to lock their door um, on their pen because they've all gone inside. Um, <laughs> I can pick up things for babies away. <laughs> um, do you have any tips on decorating cupcakes? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm really like, I don't know what that was. I was just like wiping my face, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I literally, piping tips make such a difference. Um, smooth buttercream, the same as my cakes. I don't like it too stiff, otherwise it's really hard to pipe. Um, not too many air bubbles. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just use the either the 2D, the 1M or the 8B nozzle. And yeah, just kind of wing it, um, if I'm completely honest. A lot of my decorating is just winging it, um, which makes it very hard for me to tell people how I did it. But I'm gonna go lock these chickens up and I'll be back. So, see you in a minute. are in right so um i just let the dog out the chickens are done so i'm gonna wash my hands and then um we're gonna get the rest of the decorating done so yeah i need to wash my hands um so the strawberries are done so we just need to pipe the buttercream onto the top of the cake onto the board and then we're done has gone to bed um i took her for a walk today and it was torrential rain and after that she's just been knockout since because i think it took it out of her because it was so it was horrible weather it's been horrible weather um all today so i'm using the 1m i think it is 1b um, I'm going to need another nozzle, I'm going to need the one that's on here, so I'm going to have to take that off, I just cut them off, and then I'll have to give that a wash. Mm -mm. 
Right. So, I'm going to give the board a little bit of a wipe, but most of it will be covered because it's a fully covered board. So I'm just like wiping off any like major excess, but it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of buttercream left on there and just around the side. Right, so where's the front? Here. So what I'm going to do, pipe the top first. It's such a big bag. And then I'm just gonna improv around the board, which is what I usually do. Just like any design that comes to mind, just um, I wanna do some of the, with that nozzle. So I think I think I'm going to leave the rest for that nozzle. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you a little hack, which I hope works as well as it used to. Um, using a um, like food bag, it doesn't have to be a Ziploc one. It can literally just be anyone and putting your nozzle in it um, because I've run out of piping bags. So watch this nozzle. So, little hack for you, because that's what we do when we've run out, oh no, of piping bags. I knew that was going to happen. It was too good to be true. I cut the hole too big. I'm having a right mare. Will it work if I do it? No, it's just going to spill over the top. Oh, I need piping bags because this nozzle is too small for any of my reusable ones. It was a smart idea, um, but it's not anymore because it's not working. Um, it's because they're cheap food bags. I'm gonna try one of my um, more like heavy duty ones. See whether it works better.
Right. I think I'm just gonna have to hold it a bit better. Piping bag inside of a piping bag. Okay, if we hold it, it's not too bad. lots of bowls lots of bowls so many bowls to wash up right move all this out the way right so that is the front um So we want our strawberries out the fridge. Um, I'm going to spray it with lots of gold. never have too much of that um so we're gonna put a little bit of gold leaf So we're going to get the, where are the sprinkles? So I'm going to put these tiny little white balls like this. Um, I've seen that spray stuff in the supermarket. Does it really come out glittery or is it just like making paint with luster dust? Um, no, it's definitely like glitter. Um, if you make paint, it won't spray. Um, it won't be splattered if you make the paint. Um, that's what I found anyway. Um, whereas this will actually spray like glitter. Do you have your own baking kitchen? Um, this area that we're currently in is my extension. Um, so I have this whole workspace that I'm working on, all the stuff behind me, there's a table over there. Um, and then the main kitchen is like round the corner. So it's technically my own baking space because um, it is completely separate to everything else. Um, but yeah, it's not like my own kitchen, I guess. It is part of the main kitchen. Um, but yeah, it's definitely nicer than using the main kitchen. Right, so now I need the toppings. That's what it looks like without. So we have the strawberries. As you can see, can you see that?
you do have to shake it quite a lot because I find that it comes out sometimes a lot and sometimes not a lot. we have glittery strawberries and I've got white chocolate and lint balls to go on it um how tall is this cake looks about eight inches yeah um we measured it earlier and it's eight inches tall So I'm going to put the biggest ones on the top. I've also got some macaroons. So we've got vanilla macaroons and two salted caramel. So. Um, approximately how much would you sell this cake for? Um, this cake, I think, was £48, um, which I think is low. Um, it would be 45 for a drip cake, and then it's got macaroons, lint, and chocolate covered strawberries, and I'm going to start charging extra for the chocolate covered strawberries. I currently, like have it as part of my toppings macaroons i charge more for because they are very expensive um but yeah i definitely want to charge completely like separately for um chocolate covered strawberries because if you're having quite a few of them because it's a covered board there are quite a few then it definitely adds up um but it's no it's by no means like a cheap cake it's not like i undercharged um I would have just charged maybe like three pounds or so more, but um, uh, 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 I'm currently decorating a last minute owner and I've just started and you are my inspiration. Oh, that's really sweet. Um, what are you making? What is your last minute order? Um, hi Amy, I love all your info. Um, all the info you give your advice. Did you make the macaroons? No, I bought the macaroons. Um, just because I'm one of those people where if you can buy something, I'm not saying like a cake, but like something as a topping, if you can buy something and it's a lot better than what I'm gonna be able to make, then I would rather just charge them for the macaroons, which is what I do. I charge three pounds because that's for the box, because that means that if I don't use the box ever again, then I've got my full price back. Um, so yeah, it just depends, but, um, 
I've made macaroons a few times and every time they've not been up to scratch they've not been like shop bought style um or like as good as so I just thought to myself well rather than stressing over making them because it is stressful to try and make them well I was just thinking well I might as well just buy them um and I tell people that they're bought I say that they're set flavors because they're purchased so um everyone knows that before they um buy any but um yeah definitely don't make them because they are too difficult mm going to add a few buttons um so that's the front because it doesn't have a topper on it i don't know which way is the front so um that's such a good price for a cake well i'm glad um yeah i mean i could definitely go higher on it um but she is a regular so um she buys like she's probably had like two cakes a month for the past like three months so um yeah because she's such a regular that's why i included the strawberries because i thought i don't mind um because she buys so often but yeah um i love it you're the front That is all done. So, they're both done. Um, you'll see full photos tomorrow because there will be toppers. This one isn't having any toppers, but the other one's got balloons and a cake topper. So, um, where is the front? Here is the front. Ta-da. I'll answer the last questions that are on um, in a minute. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. Right. So last questions are the ones on the screen because I do have to log off because I've got to quickly bake some cupcakes um, which will be done by 12 and now I'm going to quickly ice them and then go to bed because I've got a wedding in the morning. Um, so I will be up leaving at 7. Um, so Mm -mm -mm -mm. fellow baker here currently making my way through father's day orders and it's actually really lovely having you in the background baking too the cake is beautiful oh thank you oh that's really cool yeah to be fair um i find people are more live on tiktok i never find that any bakers are live on youtube i think i'm like I mean, I feel like I'm the only one. I never find any others. Um, but I usually watch people on TikTok, um, like bakers, who are live. Um, and then I, like, listen to them whilst I'm doing... Not necessarily while I'm baking, because I can't um, listen. Like, I want to actually concentrate. Um, whereas I'm, like, terrible. I just won't actually listen. Then I'll be, like, asking them what they've been doing. Um, but, yeah, I usually do it when I'm, like, doing YouTube bits. Because then I can kind of, like, watch on and off. Um, but yeah, I love watching other people whilst I'm doing stuff. Um, you've probably already given this information. Um, is it a four inch cake? Yes, it's a four inch cake. Um, is that white chocolate ganache or buttercream? It's buttercream. I don't use ganache, um, at all. Just because I don't feel the need. I find that my buttercream goes hard enough for like hot weather and all of that. Um, I've seen a lot of bakers trying ganache for the hot weather, um, but I've never 
found that my cakes have like fallen or anything like that touch wood um but yeah so i always use buttercream it is white chocolate um it's double chocolate so the cake is milk chocolate um and then it's got alternating layers in between each layer um, it alternates and it's white chocolate then milk chocolate white chocolate then milk chocolate etc and then it's got a milk chocolate coating for the crumb coat and then the outside coat because it needs to be light is white chocolate um so yeah so it's four inches wide and eight inches tall so yeah i am going to log off guys because i have lots to do still um i've got loads of tidying we're actually having like a little not barbecue because we're not having a barbecue but like you know like a little gathering um because my sister is having a few friends around she's got i think it's they're going out as a group of six because you're only allowed six so um yeah they're gonna come back and sit in the garden which will be nice um so i'm doing that tomorrow afternoon which is why i need to get all the washing up done because otherwise she is going to kill me when she comes over in the morning because she's going to come over and there's going to be loads of washing up to do and she wants the house nice and clean. So, um, yeah, I've got to go and do that now. I've got to go and clean. Um, but, yeah, I will see you in my next video. I'm planning to get a vlog up tomorrow evening um, because I did the live tonight, so that replaced tonight's video. Um, but I'm planning to put one up tomorrow. Um, hi, me, it's, still, it's nearly 12 and you're still working. I know. Um, I've just got to do six cupcakes um for father's day um because i deliberately didn't like advertise father's day orders because not like a lot um because i didn't really want that many because i wanted a bit of a chilled weekend after the past two weekends where i've had a total of i think it's like 15 cakes altogether so i just didn't want crazy amounts this weekend um so i've got three boxes of cupcakes um which are a couple of regulars um so yeah that's why i'm doing those for them because they're people that have had cakes off me or they've had other things before so i'm doing them for them um but yeah so you'll see photos of those over the weekend they're just navy and gold cupcakes so yeah i've got to bake six now which will take me a little bit of time not very long and then um i'm gonna decorate them whilst they're still a little bit warm which i don't usually recommend but um it's got to be done and then they're gonna go straight in the fridge anyway so yeah um because i don't have time to let them cool so whilst they're in the oven i'm gonna wash everything up because it's an absolute pigsty in here um but yeah so i need to get a groove on i've got half an hour before i want to aim to be going upstairs to bed because i'm so tired and i've got to get up at about half six tomorrow for this wedding um have a great wedding thank you um i'm doing hair tomorrow so because for those of you that are new my sister's a hair and makeup artist for weddings um that's her job so um i assist her sometimes um because she trained me so i assist her with hair sometimes so tomorrow i'm doing hair with her so i'm there for five hours i think it is four or five hours um doing hair for the day so um that'll be what i'm doing so you might see it on my stories actually on instagram if you follow me so um if you don't follow me it's sweet things by me if you want to see all the photos because they'll have toppers on and everything so yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Night.